Hey moms! This is Nisha, with an informative session on finding Dr. Right for your baby. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so that you will not miss our new videos and important updates. So let us begin our hunt for Dr. Right. Dr. Right for your baby is called a pediatrician. A pediatrician is a doctor who has specialization to care for your baby. They are especially trained to take care of the health of your child and treat any physical, mental, or behavioral issues, as well as check if skill development meets the necessary milestones. In many ways, your baby's pediatrician is more than her doctor. After all, this doctor will help your little one, beginning from birth till it grows up, providing all the necessary care for its health. Diagnosing and treating any illnesses, helps you through childhood vaccinations, nasty colds, and everything in between. During your baby's first year alone, you will be visiting the doctor at least seven times for well baby checkups. There could also be unplanned visits for a fever or a first cold. But, when should you start looking for a pediatrician? And, what criteria should you focus on? Choosing a pediatrician is one of the most important decisions you'll make regarding your child's health, and it can be a difficult one. Parents should start looking for a pediatrician weeks before baby is due, probably early in the third trimester if possible. Here are our top tips for choosing the best pediatrician near you. Do your research. You'll want a doctor who's up to date on child care. Most people choose their doctors based on word of mouth. Ask your gynecologist, looking after you at the time of your delivery to refer somebody. You can also talk with other parents in your neighborhood, your friends, relatives, and colleagues about their pediatricians to find out their experiences and recommendations. It's easy to feel overwhelmed by the recommendations, but with a little homework, you should be able to find a pediatrician you like and trust. Verify credentials and experience. You need to consider the degrees, qualification, and the training of the pediatrician. He must be qualified and experienced as well to treat your child. Is the pediatrician available when you need and easy to reach? A good doctor has regular clinic timings and clear, consistent guidelines for getting medical advice and help during nights, holidays, weekends and emergencies. In most cases, doctors recommend patients to another doctor or clinic if they are away. Convenience is also an important factor in choosing your child's physician. You don't want to have half an hour's drive between your home and the doctor's office especially when your baby is ill. It is also important to take into consideration how long you and your child will have to wait in the chamber when you go to see him. It will be especially important if your child happens to become very sick. See how your doctor interacts with your baby. A visit to the doctor can be a frightening experience and a caring pediatrician will take the time to make your little one feel comfortable. Good pediatricians know how to comfort and reassure children by getting down to their level and explaining procedures in an age-appropriate way. Pay attention to how the pediatrician interacts with your child. A warm, attentive manner can also make a big difference in seeing you through challenging situations like when your child is ill, hurt or needs an injection. A doctor who cares about your child's well-being is more likely to pay attention to symptoms and to keep investigating if a particular treatment isn't working. Ready to answer questions. As a new mom, you're bound to have many questions, especially in the first months or every time your child gets an illness he has never had before. You should feel free and comfortable to ask these questions. Your pediatrician will be a key source of information on your child's health. Most doctors are extremely busy, but a good doctor will still take the time to answer your questions. Many doctors are also willing to give you their personal number so that you can message them with a quick question at any time. This gives them the option of answering your concerns at leisure 
when they are not otherwise engaged. Decide if you click. Your pediatrician should be someone whom you and your baby can like and trust. He or she should have a pleasant personality to which your baby responds well. A good pediatrician always gives parents choices, presents options and explains what's best for your child. You should also take some very practical considerations into account while deciding on your baby's doctor. Such as how much the doctor charges. Rates can vary widely from doctor to doctor. Some may charge a different fee if you come to the hospital they are affiliated to or if you see them in their private clinic. You'll need to weigh your options and decide what works best for you. Your preference for a male or female pediatrician. Some families are particular about choosing male pediatricians for baby boys and female pediatricians for baby girls. The gender doesn't determine the expertise of a doctor or the kind of care your baby will receive. All the same, it's entirely up to you to choose someone you and your child are comfortable with. You should also consider about the cleanliness of pediatrician's office or the friendliness of the staffs. In the waiting room, chat with other parents and ask what they like and dislike about the practice. Also, look around. Are there plenty of books or toys to distract children? You may have to wait on busy days. Will you want to sit there? The task may seem intimidating, but the fact is you are not looking for the top pediatrician in the whole world, but trying to find a doctor who is the most appropriate one for your kid. A pediatrician who has a caring, sincere, and empathetic attitude may be willing to listen patiently and respond to all your queries and is available at all times, may be best suited for you. In the end, go with your instincts for it may guide you well. That's all in this video. We'll meet you in my next video with more exciting content. Do check out our other videos and don't forget to like share and subscribe. Happy parenting!